Hello everybody and welcome to another reaction video and today we're going to revisit Ginger um, when I reacted to who's going to be the one I got inundated with quite a selection of other tracks of theirs that I should check out um, and it actually surprised me I haven't got around to it yet because I did really quite enjoy the first track I heard um, so yeah today we're looking at sit stay roll over sounds like it's about a dog um, I did try and look up any meaning behind the song couldn't find anything of use um, so I'm just gonna have to go through the lyrics as um, as we watch it and see what I can pull out of it um, quite um quite in quite um I wouldn't say excited I'm kind of looking forward to it because I did enjoy the first track of those I've heard and I've not actually listened to any since that track because um, I wanted to obviously react to the other ones uh, so we'll see how this goes I'll put a link to the original video in the description below let's get on with it I don't know what happened there <laughs> anyway Well, didn't waste any time getting into that, did they? Um, yeah, very good musicianship, as I said before. And the bassist intrigues me. I mean, he's got that thing pulled all the way up to his bloody chin. And he, he seems to be a slap bassist, from what I can tell. Um, and this is another one of those bands where you can really hear the bass really quite well. Um, so far I'm having a little bit of trouble seeing, uh, figuring out what the song is about, but th there's something sort of niggling at the back of my mind. I mean, it's like, fierce black hounds are getting mad. I hear the beast behind my back and stench comes from its maw. Baying of berserks with each right paw upraised, they're painted red in blood. So is this like, other are the, are the dogs referring to like I don't know oppressors maybe um, some sort of oppressors like they're right, right behind you and like trying to force you into a certain way of thinking like the baying of berserks with each right paw up raised they're painted red in blood it sounds like you know they're all they're all serving the same power and they're just you know if you don't agree they'll kill you and you know but if you do as you're told you're fine um because there's the uh, first couple of lines of the chorus the march of curse to trample their own truth to chase all crows of white no breath for those who dare disagree one path one past one trust um so the march of curse to trample their own truth is like, you know, it's, it's hypocrites, you know. Um, for example, like like I mentioned before with um, politicians, you know, they make all these false promises and then they backtrack over them. You know, the, the march of curse to trample their own truth. So they're, they're basically promising one thing, then doing something else and then denying that they ever said the first thing in the first place. To chase all crows of white, like the, the ones that stand out, the you know the the pure people the ones that think for themselves the ones that want things to go prop um you know the right way no breath for those who dare to disagree so it's like you know 
anybody who disagrees with these people are like, no, you're not allowed to talk. You know, if you speak out against us, we'll basically silence you, we'll kill you, what have you. Um, that's, it's just a guess, basically. Um, I could be utterly, utterly wrong. But um, so far, it's actually a good track, and I, I do love her voice. Um, when I reacted to the first Ginger track, I actually got a comment from someone saying, thank God you actually reacted to the song, and not sitting there going, oh my God, she's doing harsh vocals. Heard the... And, you know, it surprises me that people do that. I mean, I've heard numerous women in metal do... Um, harsh vocals like this, um, you know, Arch Enemy, for example, uh, Angela Gossow, um, you know, it, it's not a surprise to me, I'm, I mean, uh, don't get me wrong, I am very impressed by the skill she has in her voice, and I love the fact that she does sort of clean vocals and harsh vocals as well, she doesn't just stick to the one style, which again is something I've mentioned before that I quite like, I like when people mix it up with vocal styles in their music, um, so yes, like this so far, let's carry on. Royal dogs of military They do what they profit by now In the right and house The minds are foul The rebel comes to bow The rebel comes to bow It's not on it Just back and back As soon as the bullet is gone The dog will be Carrying on from what I was saying before, it does certainly seem to be um, about like um, blindly following and you know loyally following somebody that's that's wrong. Um, it's interesting that they've used dogs in this rather than the most common one, which is the sheep. You know, um, but things the like the line there: loyal dogs, unfailing tool. They do what they've been trained to. You know, it's basically like the opinion of their master has been so seared into their mind that, you know, they're not going to object to it. They're just going to follow it blindly because that's what they've been trained to do. Whether it's right or wrong, it doesn't come into it. It's just they've been more or less brainwashed into doing whatever task is being asked of them. Um... So I'm guessing it is something along those lines. Um, there's the lines here. The one who disobeys, he learns a cruel lesson of bones and stones. Your dissonance object or dissidence, sorry, objected, and it's a basic skill to learn. Uh, to well, it says to earn, but I'm pretty sure she said to learn. Anyway. Um, you know, it's like the the one who disobeys learns a cruel lesson of bones and stones. So I can imagine that's like, um, you know, the uh, rebel, if you will, um, learns a cruel lesson of bones and stones. It's like, it, you know, possibly a reference to the old medieval torture of where people would get stoned. You know, get stones thrown at them until their bones break. 
just a guess. Um, your dissidents objected, so obviously, you know, the fact that you're trying to stand out, the fact that you're objecting to what's being forced upon you, you know, they, they're sort of going, no, we're not having this, you are going to suffer for disagreeing. Um, I mean, like, like I said, I could really, I could be miles off, but this is what I'm getting from it. Um, it could mean completely different things to other people, I don't know. But it's a good track, and I really do like the variation in the vocal styles that she's using as well, and the musicianship is fantastic. I can't believe I never checked out Ginger until I started doing this channel. There we go. Um, sit, stay, roll over by Ginger. Very, very good track. Um, one thing I actually found interesting whilst watching that video is the bassist, like I said, he's got his bass guitar right up under his chin, which is very unusual for bassists. They're normally sort of dangling down by their knees and hunched over doing the crab. Um, and he seems to be playing a five, maybe six string bass. Um, the guitarist, seems to be playing an eight string guitar yet the drummer is using a very minimal drum kit there's hardly anything to it there's like maybe three maybe four cymbals there's definitely a snare possibly one tom and one bass drum there was hardly anything to the kit at all so it's quite interesting that they've it's it's very unusual to see that i mean normally when you see it band the drum kit's like half the size of a bloody stadium so it's quite interesting um, but yes, I quite like that song, and now that I think about it, the first track I heard of them, of theirs, Who's Gonna Be The One, it seemed to be about a very similar uh, topic, if I'm reading this one correctly, because the first track, Who's Gonna Be The One, was about standing up and talking against your oppressors, against like the governments who are trying to um, force their opinions and agendas on you, and uh, once again, this seems to be a song in a very similar vein. Um, very very good very very good i love the musicianship i love the vocals very good song very much enjoyed that um i do have a number of other tracks of theirs to check out but um oh yeah i've got to throw a quick shout out to lee murray who suggested this track for me um so yeah we'll leave that as it is thank you very very much for watching and um, see you again soon. Bye-bye.